Hello everyone! Today we will be getting to know this little game called Airline Tycoon Deluxe. Now I got this from goodoldgames.com uh, where you know this game was re-released on 2015. Now originally this was actually developed by Spellbound and published by Infogrames in 1998. So this is a fairly old game already. Now this deluxe edition also has these two uh, extra uh, materials like first class and the evolution that brought more airports and more uh, campaign missions and etc. So this game, it has free game that I'm gonna show you, uh, campaigns and as you can see all of these have their own uh, different challenges basically of uh, how to make an airline you know airline company work but I'm gonna be showing you the free game soon I'm gonna show you my save my main save and I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about stuff I've learned from this um, I probably will be starting this all over again because mm, I would say that I, um, you know, in a hindsight, I made some mistakes with this game. Um, certain mistakes, I'll, I'll, I'll get to those in a moment. But anyway, this is funky. You can choose your home airport, the takeoff airport. And I think this has like most of the world's big, biggest airports, as you can see. I mean, seriously, man. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it has like everything from Zurich to Amsterdam. This is this is awesome. Uh, at the moment my takeoff airport is Helsinki, which uh, I have to warn is not among the easiest ones. Because um, the thing here is that these different airports have different flights available and they also have different routes later on. Uh, when you start this game, you start with um, basically charter flights. flights. Um, order flights, you know, flight orders that, you know, we want to go from Helsinki to Moscow, so you do the flight. But then later on in the game, you can get uh, routes that sort of um, happen regularly, you know, without any any input, input from you, actually. And those depend greatly on your home, you know, takeoff airport. But it's not impossible. To start from from something like Helsinki that has limited amount it doesn't matter so yeah I'm gonna load a game this is my my game and I am going to I'm not either of those guys I'm gonna ah, this is me the redhead she's going to the office as you can see oh I can't keep up now here is my office uh, I can do a lot of stuff with this address book and notebook and phone without cell phone without being in the office but when you start this game you don't have any of these thing these things or the spider or the gloves i i don't know what to do with the spider it, it it's some sort of side mission but i haven't figured out where to use it yet so anyway this is the most important thing um this is where you can see your planes their condition, where they are, you can see available orders and cargo orders as well as you can see. And here you can see routes. These are the only ones I have at the moment because uh, there's a little bit of a trick with the routes. Because the thing is that there is a minimum amount of passengers that you need to transport every week to maintain the route. If you can't do that, you'll lose the route. So, you know, at the moment I only have these left and I don't know whether I'm going to be able to keep this. Um, now, I said about the little problem that I made. Um, you can see here is the plane's condition. Delen is on awful, awful condition and Ivanova is too. So, um, this is because these are used planes. Um, they are cheaper, much, much cheaper than the new planes uh, but i think i may have made a mistake here that i wanted to expand too quickly in this game 
After all, this is the free play. You have a lot of time. You, you are not gonna run out of time. Uh, your opponents will buy their own planes, will do their own business, sure. But, you know, you, you, you have infinite amount of time, basically. And infinite amount of lights available, especially when you start to, you know, open new branches in different cities. Um, so in a hindsight, you know, I had these two planes when I started. They are okay, not really long distance planes, but I could have just started to do something with them. Um, but these four here, I have bought used and uh, they are in very poor condition and I can never fully fix them because, you know, it's just too expensive. I can't afford that. Um, and yeah, I have named these after Babylon 5 characters, so, <laughs> you know, I'm a fan, yes. Uh, so, in a way, I think I, I will be starting this place, you know, this game all over. Because this, obviously, yeah, this is not the way to approach this, clearly. Here, uh, airport, you can see where they are, and uh, what branch offices are there. I have, I'm the only one who has branch office in Frankfurt. As you can see, everybody has in Helsinki, of course, and I have one in Johannesburg, and so does Honey Airlines. And these, of course, you know, they have rents, so you have to think about whether they are worth it. And here is, of course, information, use of gates, daily balance, uh, Wednesday, well, it's early on the Wednesday, so we don't have the whole thing yet. Income through planes, these are some interesting things. These two workhorses bring the mo most money, and it is because these are long-distance planes. These two can fly the longest, by far, of these. Uh, unfortunately, they are also old and uh, worn-out planes, and that you know gas a lot of fuel. So you know, yeah, I have a bit of a debt. Of course, but that's really not a problem. I only have to buy the interest, you know, pay the interest money. Eh, yeah, I'm behind of everyone because I have been buying planes. Like I said, I might have made a mistake there. But anyway, oh, oh, I've got mail. What is this? Honey Airlines is the best. No, sucks. Go away. Ugh, horrible. Uh, yeah, here we have kerosene management. And I have. Uh, I have stored some kerosene on barrels. Um, at the moment, the market price is cheaper, so I'm not gonna use the ones on the uh, barrels. Uh, if this was higher, I would, but at the moment, I don't have to. Uh, what? Honey? No, oh, shoo! I'm not interested in your. Ah, go away! There. Here, I can equip planes. As you can see, uh, I have improved some of them. They have better things. Um, but uh, for example, this one, <laughs> you know, costs uh, two million. I can't afford that. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that yet. But anyway, getting flights. When you start the game, you are only gonna have you don't have any of this stuff, like I said. You're gonna have this, the air travel. As you can see, there are flights available. And this guy you can hire. He's an informant and tells like, you know, yeah, this is very good. Yeah, take it, take it. Or, you know, this one sucks, you know. Um, so yeah, this is the one place. The other is last minute tours that you're gonna be using in the beginning the most by far here. These usually all fly on the same day where you are playing. This one is on Thursday because this is a bit of a far away, so there's, a, there's time to move your plane there. I guess that's the, that's the reason why. And here is the museum, as you can see. Here are planes, like this one. The informant says this is nearly new. Uh, so yeah, no wonder it costs so much, uh, 20, you know, over 20 million, yeah, no. 
Another point, very bad condition, I am not gonna take it. Then we've got Illusion, which is okay, but you know, I could buy that, but like I said, I am, uh, yeah, I, I have problems with my current planes, so I will probably restart the whole damn thing when I can. And here, now that we are here, I'm gonna show you the cargo. Where's the, the, the cargo? Uh, should, uh, Fright Center, oh, here it is. Here are available cargo flights. This can be very good uh, if there's a room basically for your, uh, you know, in your planes and on your schedule, time, you know, flight schedule. This can be very good. Uh, but oftentimes it might be that your planes may not be able to carry that thing. So it's something to look out for. So let's see. And then we have this one duty free store. Oh, the last minute tours closed already because it's uh, over four now. This place is closed, you see. Now, this is um, the duty free store. And this is where you can get the notebook, cell phone, and address book. And you are gonna need all of these. This is actually a better notebook than I have, so I'm gonna buy it. Hey, yeah, I've got a bit of an enforcer here. So yeah. Um, these are, you are gonna need, for sure. Not the spider, does she want the... Huh. Oh. Oh! No. Ah, damn it. I still don't know what to do with those. Anyway, this is an important place as well. Um, just to get these little things that you need. Not the spider, but this. Here is petrol air. Uh, now I know that through this you can get the sabotage somehow, but I don't know how. I haven't studied that and I haven't googled it because where's the fun in that? I want to figure stuff out myself. Bank. Here you can buy stocks, reissue stocks, which gives you money, um, take loans, things like that. But this one here, oh now she's gonna walk there, god damn it, roots. Now this is why I use this address book, she's gonna run wherever I'm going when I use that. This is where you can get the roots. And like I said, they have the minimum amount that you need to be able to you know, transport passengers. So it's, you can do charter flights for a long, long time uh, and be okay with that. You get the money. Um, but these are the routes that I currently could do if I wanted to. Now we are approaching six o'clock. That's when everything closes down. But I am gonna show, yeah, yeah, shut up. I'm gonna go to the um, personal office. Uh, yeah, we have a little oh, freeze in there when the music changes, but it doesn't crash the game, so it doesn't matter. This is personal office. Here, you can control the salary and see what your staff is like. Here, you can find the new advisors, pilots, and flight attendants. And all the planes are gonna need certain amount of pilots and flight attendants, depending on the plane. Um, and they, of course, have salary. So, <laughs> yeah, you you have to be a bit careful with that one too. But um, I would say that the biggest problem here is probably fuel and, and the maintenance costs of the planes. So, yeah, the day just changed. Uh, the time, you can't pause the time. So it only pauses here, as you can see. Uh, but otherwise, it's just gonna keep going and keep going. And the other, your competi competitors are gonna be doing stuff all the time. They're gonna be buying planes, getting routes, chartering flights. They're gonna be doing all the stuff that you do, as you can see. Yeah, my planes are in very poor condition. This is just, ugh, this sucks. So they're always gonna have a briefing. Uh, but it's always the same, like, yeah, 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 you are doing fine. Yeah, you are average, blah, blah, blah. I really don't have interest for that right now, so I'm not going to do that. So what else? We have, of course, branch offices, as you can see. Uh, these are the branches that I have bought. 
you can buy buy this from the airport manager's office or you know that there's this uh, board, billboard there on the wall i have a branch office in all of these so i'm gonna fo call to london and we can see here we see where when the flight is what's the distance how many passengers what's the premium and the informant here tells what it's like there are also cargo flights which is which can be very very useful like this one for example if i would have a plane that would be able to do this at that time then you know uh, london phoenix i am actually gonna take that that's a very good one Hmm, Sunday. Yeah, I'm gonna take those two. So I'm gonna show how this works. Uh, you can also make alliances with your competitors, for sure, when you can, when you share branches. I haven't done that because I want to do stuff on my own, but you could. So, I'm gonna go here. Now, these things you can do on your notebook as well, but I prefer this for some reason. So, here we have some frights. London Phoenix and Athens London so let's see there's nothing going on here uh, London Phoenix it's where at the moment in Rome Franklin is in London so ah no we can't take those ones it seems mm. This one doesn't have much either. Athens, London. Okay, I'm gonna give this to Sheridan just to show this. Now, this thing is what causes, you know, this thing makes you money. Not much profit, but you know, yeah, it's a little bit. This, it, this thing, um, out of flight, which is just, you know, moving from one place to another without passengers, without cargo. Although it says here's cargo, but there actually isn't. Um, this costs you money. So when you are building up these chains of flights, try to avoid these things here. Like this is horrible, absolutely horrible. But I kind of had to do this because I have to get this plane to London for a route. These ones are problematic, but luckily this one brings enough profit so that it nullifies this. So, you know. It's plus minus zero. Uh, these are the ones that you need to uh, need to look out for. And okay, Delen can fly to Phoenix like that. And it doesn't show the planes that can't fly a distance, for example. So you don't have to worry about that. And this happens with the same thing here. That there are orders, and then you just open something and place it. It's pretty handy. Mm, for the most part but yeah the condition of the plane as you can see Delen is grounded on uh, grounded in Rome um, she might be able to do this <laughs> or not it's pro probably she's gonna be grounded in uh, Phoenix probably uh, Ivanova will probably be grounded too but you know the planes are fixed when they are on the ground so you know like in here there's a lot of empty space not enough maybe uh, but here for example I have I have left some room so that you can fix planes um, this is very empty at the moment uh, but this is mainly because I am planning on restarting this game like I said so I haven't bothered to really uh, really fill those but of course the bed you know the more filled up there is, the better you make more money. So, it's good. So, then you have, of course, workshop where you fix the planes. It's on the other end uh, of the store. We've got, uh, you know, of this, of this place, we've got advertising agency. And, um, let's see, plane broker gets you new planes. Uh, but they are really expensive, as you can imagine. I can't afford anything at the moment, for example. Um, I think I'm gonna actually go to workshop uh, now some things I could handle by by phone uh, main you know main maintenance and things but there are also some details that I need um, 
you can actually see the full length of the airport at the moment. Yeah, here's the yeah. Uh, yeah, looks safe, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, they are the best. But anyway, I got to talk to this guy. Okay. Like, hi. Oh, sure. Yes. Well, what can you do for me? My and then you can ask. You, you know. For just forty-eight thousand a month, Carl will mm -mm. do the absolute minimum work required for just a hundred and fifty thousand yeah. a month. My apprentice or my cleaning lady. <laughs> prices are. Approved. Yeah. Now those. You can decide how you want to do this. But anyway, here you can choose to repair. Uh, and as you can see, they have the targets, but um, they won't be able to do that. I'm going to actually change that to uh, 40. And you can see how much it's going to cost. It's going to cost me a million. This is just horrible. So this is the reason why new planes would actually be better. Breakdown statistics. Uh, they haven't broken down yet, but you know, uh, but they are grounded, so <laughs> that's not good. Here I can also see how much I have spent. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, as you can see, the older planes, yeah, not a good idea to use these. These are much better than the new ones. So yeah, I have majorly, you know, screwed up with this. I, I should have saved for new planes, absolutely. And I highly recommend that. But yeah. Please stop smoking here, it's not allowed. That's enough, get out. Yeah, she, he throws me out. God damn it. <laughs> but that, I think that's kind of funny. So yeah, that is... Uh, airline tycoon. I find this very um, interesting, a nice game. And this even has some secrets here. Like for example, I don't know to whom to give the spider. I have given boost to one particular person, but you know, and I figured that out. And I've put, I've used the oil that I got, but I don't know who to give, whom to give the spider. <laughs> so I have no idea. So, what? Post. Yep. Now this is what I said. Revocation of the route London, New York. Due to low usage, your rights to fly the routes mentioned above have been revoked. As you can see, this is the thing with the routes. Um, that... Mm, go away, bloody advertisements. Um, now that is the thing with routes. There's the minimum amount that you have to use it. Mm. And I think the problem here is because I have the used planes. I have to ground them for too long time for repairs and I can't keep that up, I think. So yeah, my bad. So I, I, just, I suggest buy new planes and get this from good old games if you like this sort of games. This is, I found this very fun for some reason. Uh, sure, I like airplanes, but anyways, so, you know, maybe that makes sense, but uh, I found this game to be pretty nice. So, I hope to see you next time, and I don't know which game I will be looking at yet. We'll see, but this was Airline Tycoon. So, I'll see you next time.